Ruby still felt really, really uncomfortable. And her her companion was freaking out like crazy. When she started looking around, she saw that there was hundreds of the little girl's people surrounding them. Look, we're not looking for any trouble, we're just passing through. So if you could show us the way out of here, that would be great. I, I'm just, I'm not from around here, I'm just checking out this island. If you want me to leave this side, then my companion and I will just leave. If you could just show us the way out, that would be really, really, um, nice. Ruby felt very uncomfortable. She's never been this scared before. Now, this is just different. <laughs> she was freaking out just as much as her little companion was. Slowly, the villagers were moving closer and closer. P please, um, keep your distance. I am armed. She will not harm another human being unless she absolutely has to. Plus, her only human enemies are, well, her enemies. Back on her, back on the mainland, that she had to deal with almost every single day. Along with the monsters, of course. But if she had to, she will attack. Her companion was freaking out like crazy. He decided to make a break for it, then suddenly he got speared. When she turned when Ruby turned around, she saw that her friend got stabbed by a spear. She couldn't help to scream. But when she screamed She got the attention of an unknown monster. The ground shook when he when the monster roared. The island ants were not scared. She woke it up. Or woke him up from his slumber. And she'll later meet him. Now she knows why this village was being so quiet. They didn't want to wake it up. Now she, she woke it up with her scream. Now they were going to sacrifice her to him. They instantly charged at her. She used her weapon to keep them all back. No matter how many times she fought back, it was obvious her attacks were no use. She was surrounded. Okay, maybe I could have brought Yang. You would not like her when she gets angry when someone's attacking me. Literally, she will not like it. She decided to use her ultimate power to get away quickly. When she got away quickly, she was instantly back upon her boat. She got inside and locked the doors and closed windows. She couldn't believe it. Her companion, her only companion that she had on this island, was dead. She was, she was more shooken up about that roar. She wanted to leave right now. Oh. But she had no gas left. And all the natives knew who they were going to sacrifice next. So... They followed her trail, well, at least her footprints, that she, well, entered to get into their village. She was freaking out like crazy. She tried to get cell phone service, but she couldn't. She only had enough service just to text so what was going on. She texted everything to her big sister Yang. Yang, please come here and help me. There's 
something wrong with this island. Like, the natives here, they are aggressive. I had one companion who was probably from a different village, and that they did not like him in his village, and so he's dead. And I screamed, and now there's like a giant monster on this freaking island, and I never heard a roar like that before, and I'm pretty shooken up. So please, please, if you can't find me, please come to my coordinates that I'm going to send to you right now. Now please come here quickly. She sent this hex instantly. She had her weapon just in case. She can hear the villagers outside of her boat. I should have brought someone. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh god. Oh god. When did this become a horror movie? When did this become a horror movie? The villagers were banging on her door, wanting to come in. Stand back. I will kill you if I have to. Don't make me do it. I swear to God, I will do it. Instantly, the glass broke, and the villagers were in. They obviously grabbed her weapon and tied her up. Then they were carrying her back to their village and to the area where they bring all their sacrifices to, to appease their gods, especially their ultimate one. Meanwhile, in Super Final Wars, Wars, his friends were pretty shooken up about that roar. Okay, something got his attention. Probably that high-pitched scream that we heard. That probably what got his attention. Let alone was enough to make him angry. Super Gordon and Gods of Kodan was to point out about one particular thing. Guys, was it just me? Or did that scream sound like it came from the from the Skull Islanders' village? I thought they realized that screaming was only gonna make Super Final Wars angry. Or at least a loud enough scream to make him angry. Plus, I thought that village was supposed to be quiet. Quiet as a mouse. I can agree with you, Siltels, and I thought that village was supposed to be quiet, not loud. Well, let's just get ready. The Super Final Wars? He knows it's almost time for the sacrifice. Later that night, the drums were. Super Final Wars can hear the drums and the, and the villagers celebrating. It was time. It was time for the sacrifice. Super Final Wars was obviously going to go alone. He usually goes alone sometimes. <laughs> he rarely brings means the others with him. As he was crashing his way through the forest, he could hear the drums getting louder and louder and louder. He was obviously trying to walk pretty slowly so he can give them plenty of time to tie up. Tie the person up and... ready for the sacrifice. And Super Final Wars kept on getting closer and closer and closer. Eventually, you can hear the drums a bit more clearly and a bit more loud, too. It was before long until he got there. All he has to do is just get a few steps closer, and then he was officially there. But it was close enough where you can actually hear the drums from a good enough distance. It almost sounded like that he was right on top of the village. <laughs> it 
when you arrive, arrive to the sacrifice nice area, he saw that there was a girl. A girl who didn't look like she was from any village that he's seen before. She looked like that she was not even from around here. She actually looked like that. She was not even supposed to be here. Super Fireworks looked at her cautiously. He knows that she's tied up. And Ruby's not at her advantage where she can fly away easily. As much as Super Fireworks wants to bite at her and just get this over with, so we can just go back and sleeping peacefully. There was a part of him that feel like that he shouldn't kill her, but instead take her with him, take her back to his home. His mind was all over the place. Eventually, he grabbed her, her and cut her strings. The villagers were so confused. Then Super Fireworks looked at them and, them and, and growled at them. You call this a sacrifice? Well, well, I hate to break it to you, but your little sacrifice didn't appease me that much. So instead, I think I'll just take one of you. The villagers were running away, screaming, but Super Fireworks was managed to grab one, and then later swallowed him whole. Super Fireworks carried Reed and Ruby back to his, his mountain. It was quite a long way, but she kept on struggling through the entirety of the journey. It wasn't before long until Super Final Wars grabbed her, but she hit her head on a rock. Ooh, that's uh, gonna leave a mark. Oh well, he better not be dead on. I mean, when when we get back to my my freaking damn mountain. I just got you, and this is the first time I ever actually carried someone or did not decide to eat them where they were at. Eventually, he made it back to his mountain, but the others were curious on why he didn't eat her. I got someone else. Then, why is she? Zill tells him, Shut up. And just let me do my thing. Super Fireworks said as he went inside of the cave to go straight up to his part of the mountain. The others just looked at each other just like, What the F just happened? I have no idea, Zillzelzen. He never acted like that before. The only real time he acted like that was... All the others then inside a smile on their face. Oh, I think he's in love. Before they could say anything else, a massive rock came flying down oh, from the top part of Super Fireworks' mountain and fell straight on top of them. Ow! Was all Super Godzilla Earth had to say.